Here in beautiful Bright for the Champion Systems Tour of Bright. And we start on day one with the time trial. Three, two, two, one. TT course is a 13 and a half K course. There's a little hill to start, um, then coming over the hill you've got a, uh, yeah, a nice little downhill leading into a bit of a flat and the flat's nice and long and straight so you can see the people ahead. Um, plenty of scope for chasing people down. Um, and that goes for, for a little way to the, to the first turnaround. Power out of that and then uh, short straight uh, for taking a left. Uh, then head up the hill, this sort of undulating hill, uh, to the turnaround point at the uh, turn off to the recycling centre. And then coming back down, um, get some good speed uh, coming down the hill there. Sharp left uh, back onto the main road. And then coming into the finish, there's a little climb. Uh, and as you crest the climb, you can, you can just about see the finish and then just uh, hammer it home, sprint as fast as you can. I was pretty surprised to get the win, honestly. Um, but yeah, feeling, feeling pretty good. I lost six kilos and um, went from training about maybe 200 k's a week to about 350 a week. Um, and yeah, the results just started to come. <laughs> Basically, I won, won my first ever race two weeks ago, um, C grade uh, in, in Canberra. Yeah, here we are, and I don't know, I'm, I'm surprised, I'm still surprised, I still can't believe it. Um, but yeah, pretty happy. It was a really, really enjoyable course, very safe. The volunteers and the fishers did a fantastic job, and everyone was going from 20 second intervals, and what, five or 600 riders, they've put in a very, very big day, so they've, they've really done a good job. It was a solid win, and I, I wasn't expecting to have that much of a gap in the um, end result, so I was really happy, and um, I came in, and I, I really wanted to win, but I knew in this phase of my training in preparation for the Nationals that it, it potentially could be quite tough and not to um, have too much, too higher expectations, but um, I was really happy, and um, so I, I can't complain. 50 second lead over Bridie, who put in a very, very good race, and then Miranda a minute and 30 seconds back, and um, definitely to um, definitely stomp probably the next two days of the hill climbing. State champs was pretty much the starting point for me in my um, prep for nationals, and and doing the tour of Bridie and doing this TT is just another um, component of the whole process, and it's they're good opportunities to test out new equipment test out new gear, test out different pacing strategies um, just to get things right under racing conditions So, I, I, and, and it worked today so I'm, I'm, re I'm more than happy. You've got to love Bright. Got to love Bright. It's uh, day two and stage two which is our first road race. We started in Bright um, and we headed out towards Pukunka um, and then we took a right turn um, and you go through um, Rose White. A um, few, few undulations and then um, the, there's a, a long slow climb. After that long slow climb you get um, a really good descent which is fantastic. Work hard through the descent, a uh, few more rollers um, and then basically to the bottom of Tawonga where you make a sharp right and it's pretty sharp from the bottom of Tawonga and um, then it's seven k's of pain after that. Oh look, it's a, it's a not too long a climb which is good but it's solid the whole way. So. We're up here um, with St Kilda Cycling Club um, in November, Melbourne Cup weekend, and we rode this quite a few times at a really good threshold, and um, I got to know it pretty well. So I just went bang down the bottom and held on for as long as I could. I'm really, really, really happy actually. It was um, a good race. It was um, fairly quiet at the start, um, but then coming up to um, Rose White, a um, few girls made a, a bit of a move and about eight of us stayed together and worked pretty hard until, um, until the bottom of Tawonga. So uh, it was solid. Great way got away early, chasing down out the back. Got caught behind the Masters A's up Rose White, so nice cruise to the top of that. And then it was just a slog fest up yeah, the Yeah, slog up the climb, just going one after the other. Yeah, I'm getting and then it's just a sprint to the line. To the line. Yeah. Just got to hold it together. It's about 15k. Group of four went off the front. We let him go. You could still see the car up the road. Um, but then we got caught by the Masters A guys about 10k before Rose White. Um, and after that, we couldn't see the car anymore because we had to go into neutral. It ended up being only two of them out the front on their own. So, yeah, it's a hard day out in the sun for that long for them. So, we ran them down.
Well, we hit the climb pretty hard. It opened up as soon as we hit the bottom of the climb. And guys just started to pop straight away. Uh, slowly, one by one, it got whittled down to the group at the end of about six or so of us. Um, just one after the other going toe to toe. A couple of boys shot off the front, chased them down. There was this four man sprint to the line. So, yeah, it's a good, good day. Getting a bit warm out, but beautiful weather. Can't ask for any better than this up here. You've got to love bright. Got to love bright. It's day three, stage three, and we're going up mighty Mount Hotham. The race was 58 kilometers. We start off in bright, sort of flat with a few intermediate sprints. I sort of just sat in the bunch and tried to take it as easy as possible. So just hold good position and uh, yeah, and then we got to the climb and right from the beginning it was sort of wasn't too hard and then a few riders sort of slipped off the front. I thought I'll give this a go, so rode across with another rider and sort of just didn't uh, as much work as I had to and um, tried to just keep it as smooth as possible and um, yeah right from when we hit the last sort of part of the climb they sort of accelerated a bit I sort of just followed and then there's a kilometre to go to the last KOM I've tried to raise the pace a bit and brought it down to three of us and then got rid of Jay Burke and then me and Reese just sort of swapped off until the last 500 metres when I heard there was a VIS rider coming across and that's when I just gave it everything to the line and managed to hold on for the win. It's a good race to win, it's um, one of my favourite races of the year so it's always good to you know, start the new season or finish the season, whatever way you look at it, with a win so it's always good. I dropped the chain and uh, couldn't get it back on on the roll as we came up to the next climb and basically had to get off the bike and it took me 30 seconds to put the damn chain on the small chain ring and uh, pretty frustrated. I knew straight away then I was out of the race. Um, got it on, a bit nervy, twitchy, and, but I looked up and there were maybe 150 metres in front of me, the group, and there was a little split off the group there and I thought, ah, oh, let's see how we go. I think we only had 5k to go by that stage, 4k to go. And I just got on and I thought I'm just going to have to limit my losses now and just try and pedal firmly. And uh, it was pretty hard trying to get back onto them, but thank God they weren't really good. Yeah. The last 500 metres, the group started to split up a little bit and there was only four of us. And uh, well, I thought there's a chance of placing here and I was pretty, pretty cooked, but uh, then they started to drop off and the guy in front of me, I just bridged the gap to him and I thought I'm just going to have to keep the momentum going. So I just really laid into the pedals. I knew I had 200 metres after the hill and I just maintained it and couldn't believe it. Went over the line and it's a bit of a dream. So I was couldn't believe that I'd come from where I had, dropping the chain to winning this race. Gotta love bright. Gotta love bright. Gotta love bright. Gotta love bright.